Good afternoon friends and welcome back to my garden. So I have been in here and I noticed it's about time to go ahead and cut our cabbages down because they are getting really big and I'm noticing some bugs are starting to get to them. So I thought it was about time to go ahead and cut up these cabbages, take them inside and go ahead and make something delicious with them. All right, friends, so here are our cabbages. There is a total of six cabbages here. Um, I think I'm gonna take all six of them. I'm not quite sure. I just wanna make sure I have a place to put them all before I cut them off, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take the first one and go from there. All right, friends, so I take it back. I have eight cabbages. There's another two that we're hiding over there, plus the three that I have right here. So we are gonna go ahead and start taking, for sure these three, cause they have all fallen over. These five over here are still doing really well and look good. So for sure I'm taking these three right now. And these are pretty good size. First year ever growing cabbage. So you can see this one definitely has gotten some bugs. Um, so we'll have to pull back all these layers until we don't have any bug damage. And then our one single purple cabbage that also has some bug damage but we'll get it all cleaned up so let's go ahead and cut these and take them inside all right friends so we are in the kitchen now i went ahead and i washed all of our cabbage i took all the leaves off that had bug damage on them or just weren't pretty had a bunch of holes i made sure to remove all of that as you can see my purple cabbage i had to remove quite a bit of it it was smaller than these two heads these other heads anyhow but there's not much left of it so we are going to go ahead and make sauerkraut. I have never made sauerkraut. I've always wanted to and we're going to do the fermented kind. I actually found in my complete book of home preserving by ball, I found a recipe in here for sauerkraut. It's going to be on page 344. This is the fermented one and on the opposite side on page 345, it gives you two methods of doing it in your canner. So I'm going to go ahead and do the fermented one with these cabbages. I have the other five cabbages that are down in the garden that I can try the other methods with later. But first, let's do our fermented one. I have my two half gallon size mason jars and then I also have my ball fermentation lids and presses. So this will go inside the jar, it will press all of the cabbage down and then I have the lids that have the breathable spots so that way I can go ahead and put it on there, turn it, it'll be nice and tight and then it'll be able to breathe through here. So I am very excited to be trying this today. All right, so I'm gonna remove two of the cabbages to the side and we're gonna work on one. So there are a few different ways that they say that you can go ahead and cut up your cabbage, but you wanna have it in thin, very, very thin pieces. If you have a food processor that does the shredding, you can go with that, probably the easiest method. I unfortunately do not. So then you can either go with a very sharp knife, cut it in half and then just make slices, or you can go with a mandolin with this one and just shred it that way. So I am going to start off with just cutting it in half. You want to make sure to remove the core. The best way I've seen to do it is to just smash it down and it should completely remove the core from your head of cabbage. Like I said, it should. Mm. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it in half and go from there. Mm, I love the smell of cabbage though. It smells so good. And to collect all of your shreds of cabbage, um, you either need a glass bowl, a stone bowl, or a food grade plastic bowl. And that's what I have here. It's the deepest one I have, so I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out the core. All right, so now that I have it cut into manageable pieces that I can work with, I'm gonna go ahead and start shredding it. Like I said, you can either use a knife or you can use a mandolin. I'm gonna try both and see which way I like better. Any really big pieces, go ahead and move off to the side. All right, so now I have half of one of my cabbage heads completely shredded. So now I'm going to take my canning pickling salt and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle it in there and we're gonna massage it. I'm gonna start off with one tablespoon of pickling salt and massage and then go from there. The salt is going to help uh, wilt your cabbage and pull out the moisture and that is what's gonna create the brine that's gonna help you ferment your cabbage. So you're just gonna massage 
your cabbage and the salt together. And I'm gonna go ahead and add another tablespoon of salt. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit while I continue with the next half of the cabbage. I'm gonna give the mandolin a try this time. I think it's too fine, so I'm actually gonna continue with just cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to this one. Go ahead and massage. All right, so I'm gonna move on to my next head of cabbage and I'm gonna continue doing the same process. I'm gonna cut it, put it in here, add salt, continue to massage, and keep going. The goal is you want to have as much water to cover the top of your cabbage. So that means once you're done putting everything in there, add your salt, massage it, let it sit for a little bit, if you notice you still do not have enough brine at the top, add some more salt to continue to pull out the moisture out of your cabbage. All right, friends, so now that all of my cabbage is now cut and placed inside of here, I am going to let it sit for 15 minutes and bring all the juices up. So we wanna see juice covering, or brine covering the top of this. If we don't, we're going to add more salt and we are going to mix it and just let it keep going. All right, friends. So it has been sitting for a while and the juices have collected. So now I can go ahead and start placing them inside my mason jars. These are clean mason jars and I'm just going to use my clean hands and go ahead and scoop it in. But I am going to use my funnel. So let me grab that. You want to make sure that you pack this down really good. So I'm using a wooden spoon to press it down into my jar to make room for the rest. So I've got all my cabbage now inside of this jar. As you can see, the brine has completely covered the cabbage, which is exactly what you want. Now I can go ahead and take this, press it down, because this is gonna press all of my cabbage down underneath the brine. You want your cabbage under the brine. Anything that's above the brine has the potential to become bad. So you wanna make sure that you go ahead and you cover it, completely submerge it in the brine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on and screw it on. There we go. And this can breathe, so it's gonna create gas bubbles because you're fermenting it. It's gonna create gases and the gases need to escape so that your jar does not break. So that is what this top is for. It's going to allow the gases to escape and keep the fermentation going. So every day, I'm gonna put this in a dark spot, but every day I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna check it, remove anything on the top that doesn't look good, and then keep it submerged and then keep it in a dark spot. This is supposed to take about six weeks according to the ball book. According to my book, it says it's gonna take about six weeks for it to completely ferment. So I will keep you guys in, uh, updated on how my sauerkraut does. Super excited. So this was two heads of cabbage. Two heads of cabbage was able to be broken down into one half gallon mason jar. I have my second one here. I didn't end up using this one. So I have another fermenting that I can do with my next one or any other vegetable that I decide I want to ferment. So excited friends, here is my sauerkraut. All right friends, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my first time fermenting the cabbage into sauerkraut. I am super excited to see how it turns out in the next six weeks. So if you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, share this with your friends and family. I hope all is well and have a blessed day. I just have to go. <laughs> Are you ready to do your... So, friends, we have here today, but every time you start off the video, like, good morning, friends. Of course. What happens if, what happens if I'm watching it at nighttime? Good morning, friends. Yeah. Oh. There was three. Was there? Yeah. Where'd the other three go? The other two. The two ran up there, and that's when I said Katie. Oh, my goodness. Three ran up, and then, you, and then I didn't see the third one, and then you saw the third one. Oh, they could jump high, huh? Well, we just had three deer in our, not inside the garden because it's fenced, but just outside the garden. There's three deer. I saw one. Joshua saw all three. <laughs>